Alright guys, welcome back to the video and today is going to be a bit of a different kind of video that I usually do on the channel. So we're going to be doing an installation video for this uh, HP Pavilion DV6 laptop. So I'm going to be installing a new SSD onto these guys because uh, this uh, hard drive on this unit has failed. So we're going to be uh, assembling the new hard drive, uh, sorry, the new SSD on this uh, unit here. And yeah, so we're going to be showing guys the installation process as well as the uh, OS installation Windows 10 on this thing so this thing is using an, an obviously kind of Windows 7 uh, Windows 7 OS and it's corrupted already anyway so yeah we're gonna give this guy a boost so it's a pretty old laptop using a Core i7 second generation so yep yeah, and we're gonna be uh, installing, you know, showing guys how to install the SSD in a few seconds and we just need actually uh, we just need a screwdriver basically just to unscrew the uh, screws later so right now all these are all the things you actually need for this laptop so let us go ahead and turn around turn this laptop around so we can have a good look behind all right we have flipped the laptop so you can see at the back we got uh, a compartment here to remove the parts actually this is where the hard drive and the RAM besides Here's the battery. So one thing I like about this Pavilion DV6 is that you don't need to remove any screws to access the hard drive, which is fantastic. Uh, compared to some other laptops, you have to remove like every single screw just to un uh, to remove the back panel. But for this case, you just need to remove the battery and the cover of the uh, back panel over here, which I'm going to show you later. So yep, let me get my tripod and we're going to start assembling the SSD and remove the old hard drive so we can. Uh, install this thing so let's get started all right so guys we're going to be starting to disassemble the laptop so i'm going to give you a good view here so let's go ahead and start by removing the battery and the cover first so let's rock and guys that's it that's how the two things you have to remove just to access the hard drive and the ram which is why i love this uh, model you don't have to unscrew all these things to access the RAM and uh, the hard drive. So the availability on this laptop is fantastic, I can see. But now let us get into the part where we cut this open and install it. So let us actually unscrew all these screws first and uh, get access to the current hard drive and then replace it. So yep, you're gonna need a Phillips uh, screwdriver here, cross screw driver, which is better. Let us start unscrewing. So there are four screws as I said and there are another four screws inside the hard drive cage where I'll show you later. So I'm gonna go to the BIOS straight away. So let me give you an idea of the screen. So here is the startup menu for this HP laptop. So we're gonna go to the boot device, which is offline, and then you see we have the you see it detected the Kingston. Uh, this is not the this is not the uh, SSD. This is my USB drive, but this is the actually the SSD. So we have to install Windows first. See we get into Windows 10 and there we go. This is the bootloader for Windows 10. It's been a while.
Alright guys, so we have finally greet, we have been greeted with the uh, screen here which will take us to the installation of Windows. So we're gonna head, we're gonna go ahead and install a fresh copy, so install now. And it'll take a while, I'm not sure how long. Uh, but this setup will take some time here. So I'm gonna uh, skip ahead to the part where we wanna see the installation going on, alright? So it's gonna ask for the product key. Let me enter the product key pretty quickly here. Alright guys, I've entered the key and now we're going to accept the terms, proceed. So since we have nothing in this drive, we're going to go with the advanced option. So you can see it detected, I have an un un unallocated space here for the uh, from the SSD. So we obviously want to choose and uh, we add another drive. We're going to make it to a few partitions here. So hmm, never mind, we'll just uh, we'll allocate, the, we'll allocate it later. So we'll just choose one partition first. We can allocate later actually. So let's continue. Next. Alright, so it's gonna do its magic. It's gonna copy all the files and get everything ready. And once it's done, we'll be right back. Alright guys, so it is done and it's restarting itself in a couple of seconds. You can see 3, 2, 1, 0 and it's restarting. So from this point on, it looks like it's pretty much done. Now it's going to be doing its initial startup with Windows 10 and all the installation uh, process will go on again. Should take a while. And then we'll be good to go to Windows. Alright guys, so welcome back. And we have already done in the win uh, installing Windows 10. You can see it's fully functioning now. Bare bones Windows obviously. So. Yeah, everything is working. All the drivers, the basic drivers are installed by Windows. It seems to be working. I have internet. Uh, battery seems low. But everything else it, in terms of functionality seems working. Looks like the graphics uh, drivers have been installed as well. And yeah, pretty sweet. So that actually comes to the end of this uh, video for this uh, SSD upgrade for the HP Pavilion D6, DB6. So yeah guys, thank you very much for watching this video, hopefully it helps, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.